Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Alright, so Arrow OS, Arrow OS, Arrow OS, A double R O W. That's what I mean. Anyways, that's there in the title. How are you guys? I hope everyone is doing great. Y'all are safe and y'all are taking all the precautions. Now today's video is a full review of Arrow OS. This is based on Android 10. It is a custom ROM and I have installed it a few days back. Now before we begin the full review in which we do the usual drill, let me tell you, you are awesome and you are helping us get the Pocophone F1 back to the channel. With your help, we can actually do it. So if you wish to donate one dollar or anything about that, the link is in the description and on the community post. You can go ahead and help us as well. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, guys, it's time to review another ROM, and this time we are talking about Aero OS for the K20 Pro. Now, a few days back, I did try this ROM as my daily driver, but that was a G apps build, so I did not have call recording. So, yesterday, I figured let me try the vanilla build with Pico G apps. Now, that is important before we start the review because the ROM itself is around 580 megabytes, and the Pico G apps are around 90 megabytes. So, this is one of the lightest ROMs that I have used used on this particular phone and let me tell you it flies through everything i have used this phone for work i took it off charge at around uh, i think eight or nine in the morning and still we are at 34 percent so we're going to cover all of that in this particular video and first things first what we're going to talk about is the build and system now as you can see over here i am on the aero os about screen this is android version 10 of course and this is the latest version of aero os which is aero os 10 and we do have the build date as september 12th so yes definitely this is one of the latest versions that is available for this device and uh, to tell you the truth this has the latest september security patch and all the other goodies and it works just fine let's see what are the other options that we have when it comes to launcher customization first things first we have allow edit notification dots you can use you know google now or the google swipe to the left screen which i really really like clear all on swipe down from recents hidden protected apps icon pack quick search bar you can decide the grids and sort so this is basically a very very basic launcher but yes it is there some customization is available and that's pretty pretty awesome now apart from this if we talk about the stock camera here real quick the camera that comes with this particular rom is a very very basic camera it doesn't offer a lot but the good thing here is that when i actually go ahead and install anx camera it actually replaces the default camera now this is one of the very few roms on which i have seen this happening and the nx camera version that i'm using is version 185 along with the 48 megapixel q fix so 4k video recording works all the normal features of a portrait mode and you know slow motion 960 fps all the other things are working just fine on this rom with anx camera so as far as the camera situation is concerned if you go ahead and install anx camera you should be really really good to go another thing that i really really liked about this particular rom is that when you start as i said at the beginning it is a very very light rom and it is smooth it is fluid it doesn't you know go ahead and uh, eat up all the battery yes that's correct we are talking about the battery situation over here so let's actually go ahead and check out what we achieved in today's day so if we go to the battery situation we are still at 34 percent the last full charge was 14 hours back and we've had two hours and seven minutes of screen on time now i do know that that is less that is not a lot but if you see i have been using the phone quite a lot since morning and if you can see over here noise fit is running so most of the day the reason i have low screen on time across all the roms is because all day i have my smartwatch connected most of the time i have my earbuds connected while going to work and coming back from work i have my bluetooth helmet connected so the bluetooth is used a lot and wi-fi is on off and i'm traveling so 
you know if you include all those situations the phone goes through a lot and I would consider that as a good battery life because a normal MIUI ROM for me even one of the best you know like the gaming ROM or the ROG ROM whatever you call it even that leaves me with like 10% battery when I reach home in a normal workday usage and this one was at 50% so that for me is excellent battery life now next up let's quickly have a look at the settings menu as you can see it does follow the Android 10 guidelines or you know everything that a stock Android phone would look like and you have very less customization over here this ROM is about simplicity so as most of the people has been commenting on my channel that pixel experience is amazing pixel experience is great well guess what you now have a competitor and the best part is if I do a Wi-Fi call now as you can see this icon over here Wi-Fi calling works you do have call recording so the only thing that is missing over here is automatic call recording but I can live with that the dialer is good the phone application the contacts application everything that is supplied with the ROM and if you specially install Pico G apps it actually works good as a overall package now you know for a few customization options that we have let's actually quickly go ahead and check that so if we go to display for example over here you do have always on display lock screen settings and styles and wallpaper so one small bug in this particular rom is if you switch the theme while you're in dark mode it would crash like this now honestly it is not really a deal breaker because what you can simply do is you can turn off the dark theme okay now sorry about that extra brightness uh, if you go to styles and wallpaper after this and then if you switch the theme well it works just fine and you can switch back to dark mode again so that is definitely a small bug coupled with uh, you know automatic call recording not being there but it is not it is definitely not a deal breaker especially when you see the smoothness and when you see something like this wherein if you use this ROM to use always on display the fingerprint works trust me when I say the fingerprint works better than it does with MIUI so you know we've covered the battery the camera the smoothness all the customization options that are available if you are a customization freak uh, which to some extent I am but it doesn't you know actually drive me away from a ROM if it doesn't have customization it has this ROM has all the Android 10 features it has the smoothness like pixel experience uh, this review is not going to be very very long reason being there is not much to show in this ROM but I can clearly tell you that data all the basic things that you expect they would work just fine along with Wi-Fi calling the automatic brightness is on spot the gaming is excellent in this particular ROM uh, I always constantly got 60 FPS if you really want to see a gaming review of this particular ROM let me know in the comment section now another small thing that we missed when it comes to the battery part is the charging yes I did manage to get the original 27 watt charger for this particular device and it actually supports full 27 watt fast charging with the kernel that is supplied with the ROM and if you go to XDA and have a quick look at what their device page says this is what it says it clearly says that everything is working and uh, if you want to know how to install this particular ROM you can definitely go ahead and check my install and preview video but all in all you know this is a very good overall package it works perfectly fine as a daily driver and you don't have much customization but if simplicity and stability is what you're looking for and you are kind of done with pixel experience or you're looking for a change trust me this is something you should really really try let me know in the comment section if you've tried Aero OS and how did it go for you and uh, if you really really liked this short and sweet way of reviewing this particular ROM. Take care and keep smiling. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off. Goodbye.